street mall. Can I have the battery too before? Is this the battery? Or uh, the cord too. Thank you. So guys, uh, we're gonna unload the truck and we're gonna have ourselves a breakfast uh, action. Good morning, good morning. The secret to this, good morning guys. Nice. Is yours a little yeah. pipe, aren't you? Yeah. Good morning. First table. Since. What's that sign? Okay, so what we're going to do is set up tables in different sections. Middle, over, and over, I think, huh? Saying good morning. There's a lot of nothing that's going on there. There we go. Yes, it does. I'm trying to get the majors. We gotta get to the cart. Get the one. There. I wanna park, huh? So I'm gonna put it over there. Okay. Yes, that's a sleeping bag and food for the house. Just kiss John. One more black bag. Uh, Probably gone. Okay, guys. So we're in the way of the bus. Here we are.
Yeah, okay. So guys, good morning everybody. Say good morning, Bonnie. There's more and more in this car right here, guys. If you add it to this one. I got it. I got it. So we're gonna unload Mary over here. Good morning, man. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Hey, guys, let's take it all out okay. there and uh, we need more help. You can uh, grab some app, think of food at the same time, maybe, huh? She's oh. got food. They need to get more of clothing, fooding out of there. Can you can you grab uh, uh, another bag too, please? Behind you, sir. Yeah, can you grab one of those for us, sir? We don't, we don't litter and throw our stuff out. But could you grab a, a thing of food to help us grab it in? Maybe not. Okay. Today. Right, right, right. It's okay. 20% of our proceeds go to We Don't Waste. But they just spent $100,000 to promote the murder of people in Denver. The Downtown Denver Partnership just spent $100,000. band folks bathrooms are open to everybody we know that because these fine folks are sharing the bathrooms 
And we're just gonna spread ourselves around today. Good morning, ladies. How do you how you doing today? Good and you. Fantastic, thank you. Did you know that when you spend money on the 16th Street Mall, you're help promoting laws that increase the rape of women in our city? True story. Look up the urban camping ban. Too high a price. Learn why the law in Denver causes women to be raped. Why laws are desperate and double from 100000 dollars was just given by the South Park Denver Park to promote a no a 300 campaign. No a 300 campaign. The rape of women, the whole 
foolishness of our children. It's all brought to you by the laws of the downtown Central Court District. of homelessness since 2012. When you spend money to criminalize human beings, you're adding to the sins of this Drunk guy. He smells of alcohol. He's very strong and tight on us. Well, then they should withdraw their membership list from the list, right? And when you pay dues, when you see these fees to determine. It doesn't matter. They take the place here, downtown Denver Public Schools. But these kids wouldn't be here. He's part of a national franchise. National franchise. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what boycotts do. Well, then it's really easy for a business owner who makes a small guy. As a small guy, I'm against small people, and I'm against this kind of labor. Right? It's a pretty basic thing. Um, I'm not going to tell you one way or another about the government and how to do it. It's all the same. 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 him as a threat to our safety. The man with the black pack, the black backpack and the red shoes, who, who says just do it on it, he smells highly of alcohol and he's gotten in my face. So viewers, you're all watching live. We have hundreds of you out there. Right off of them. Huh? It's a tax right off. Yeah, it is a tax right off. If they're not making money, they don't pay tax. Well, they still get a tax right off. So as a business, if they're not making money, they wouldn't be in this fiscal. Uh, okay. This and because, because of that, they, they don't uh, tax right off. Okay. So if he's really impacted, let me ask you a question. Would you rather that he gives his money to the government or to the homeless? I would rather that he recognizes the impact of the law and then he does if he's a small kid, he's got a social conscience and a moral responsibility, whatever faith watch he follows, to recognize how human beings are being proved, how great is the because of the dead kids. Oh, it matters because your permit grants 
The action of reneging oh, is a renigger. Came out with the fucking water, huh? hey. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please spread this word around. We're all alive. We're all downtown. It is Sunday morning on the 16th Street Mall. Homelessness is not a crime. Why are people doing time? See this? This is the real action that's going on. This is the real relationship. There's more food down there. That's right, guys. This is what community looks like. All that yelling going on over there is because these people's lives are put on line every day because police officers walk up to these people on the streets, sleeping in a sidewalk, sitting down on the ground. They threaten to put them in jail. They threaten harassment. They steal their property. These things are regular and consistent. That's right. Good morning, dear. I hope you have a blessed day. Doesn't have no idea who those fuck. Oh, you always deny life because you're consuming public space. So go get your permit, bitch. Go get it. Go get your permit. Breaking news around the world. That's right, folks. Trolls and intolerance. Oh, uh, there's on that. Good morning. It's a busy morning out here, folks. 16th Street Mall. Lots of people getting food, having community. There's bagels. There's police officers. I think we're going to draw around the facts. We lost my time.
So as we were talking, Jessica, you say that uh, Jamie Cutter, who we've been doing emailing back and forth with, has indicated that he would like to come to the table and end this. Yeah, he's told me that because he's part of the franchise here, that if he takes a political stance, he runs the risk of losing his franchise entirely. Okay, and that's exactly like our point, is that all international, right, high-end, ritzy restaurants had protests happening around the world, right? Because of the law here, and it took them like 10 days. So you'd like to see it go all the way to the top? Oh, absolutely, right? Because when a franchise is allowed to pay dues and be part of the lobbyist group that makes laws, at the federal mint before May 12, 2012, or uh, 11, it was legal for women to sleep on the sidewalk at night. It was a rape free zone. And they need to be able to be safe. If, you don't, if you're not in public, you're in hiding. And in darkness is where bad things happen. So you heard it here, folks. And if those of you who are still hanging, who are still streaming with us, we are indeed telling the truth out here on the 16th Street Mall. How you guys doing? All right. You know what's going on out here? I think we've talked with them. So this is a protest. Oh, it makes me get a good view of this guy. He's in all of our discovery. Hey, who's a veteran? Hey, veteran. Are you a veteran? Yeah. Are you, are you a permanent structure that is fixed with concrete the foundation? And are you impacted by the laws in the city that put people in jail if they don't have a place to live? Almost daily. I have to fill out paperwork to prove that I'm to get a lawyer so we're going to get a fine for our Okay. Huh? So, so, so we'll have the conversation. So, 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 so not going to... I can't even get into this. I can't get into our veterans have houses because the one people I do feel sorry for are veterans. Okay. I have to... If you're a veteran, what, what service for you? United States Navy. Or the USS Navy. I, I was in the Army stationed up in Alaska. And we put a lot of people up there. So I know where you're coming from. The veterans should take care of this I'm not talking immigration policies. I'm talking Denver's local municipal policies. I'm not talking about national plans. I'm talking about what happens in this city. 
check, one, two, 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 one, two, two, one, two, 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 Doing wrong, you could do it right. Okay? No. 
No, you don't need a permit to feed any food. Uh, you, you need one for the for the mall. Sir. For the mall? And you need for furniture and and uh, you need a permit. Out here. So Can I see that? Yeah, sure. You have that on you. By the way, do you have a badge number and name, please? Yeah. I'm Detective Durant, badge number nine nine thirteen. Thank you, Detective Good. Durant. Sergeant. Uh, it's 49 464 for NB, furniture on public property, and 49 538.3 4 uh, permit required on the mall. Did that answer your question, sir? Do you have a copy of that? Oh, okay. I just told you what it is. Well, you didn't provide me a copy of it. Can I see it? I'm going to write it down. Can, Can I see it? Down. Well, I don't have a piece of paper. This is not a problem. Give any pen. You can write it on. You got a card, right? Yeah. This is the freedom of speech expression. It's not a profit. You have to have a permit to be able to send it to the public property. 49, 464. Do they have to write it? There you go. Okay, you got that on the back of it? No, I don't have oh. to do that. All I got to do is provide. No, he's trying to give me the, the information. I don't have a pen or anything. You got the, you got the information. What is it again, Sergeant? Section. Yes, sir. Oh. Hey, 
baby, won't you let it go? You got me doing what you want to, baby, won't you let it go? You got me doing what you want to, baby, won't you let me go? $100,000 to promote rent! $100,000 to criminalize the homeless! We saw window siding roofing. to promote the rape of women, the homelessness of our children, and the death of our veterans. The downtown Denver partnership
because I know there's only 18 of you here today, right now, and I am not paying attention to the conversation. But can I tell you that we will be having law enforcement here next week? There will be arrests on the 16th Street Mall. We guarantee it because the police are building up to that action. So we want you to come down next week in force. We are anticipating it. I had a conflict.
she said, oh, hey Joe, wanna give it a go? this man Something we can help you with, ma'am? How are you? Good, ready to go. Yeah. Okay. Good, I haven't seen you in a really long time. I know. Say, uh, I got a salt in there. Okay. And I might get to a lot of complaints. Okay. Let me. Sergeant won't know his name. I don't even know his name. Okay. But I don't know why they're threatening us with arrest for giving clothes to the homeless and threatening me with my vehicle because it has an electric motor on it. But it's actually okay for them to pour scalding hot water on you. Oh, dude. Um, if you've already talked to the sergeant, Eric, I'll, keep, I'll let you continue to work with them. I'm just delivering paper. No, 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 that's the thing. He's not working with me. Right? He's not working with me. Okay. okay. They don't give they're on scene, so, so if he's already dealt oh, with So they're going to arrest us instead? Is that what's going to happen? I'm not here to arrest you. Well, if, they're, if you're giving paperwork to them, then that means they're going to arrest me. Right? And I had scalding hot water dumped on me. Okay, well, I'll let them figure that out. Like, that's an act involved. of assault. I, I, I wasn't involved in that area. Area. Okay. I'm not going to figure it out. So who's the paperwork for, ma'am? Like I'm sorry? An officer, can I have that officer's ID? You just walk around with random paperwork? <laughs> oh, by the way, happy fucking cops day! Oh, you never know what you're gonna get over here, folks. $100,000 spent by the Downtown Denver Partnership to promote laws that cause our veterans to go to jail and cause women to get raped in our city. So we've been going kind of to
Happy Sunday, folks. Eric's over there taping. Eric's over there taping the sidewalks, measuring. tripod to hold your phone. Uh, Screwing on your tripod to hold your phone or your selfie stick, depending on what you're using. But I'm using tripods these days, so. Yeah, well, it's necessary when you're running three hours on a fucking live stream. All right, folks, we love you all. We're plugging you in now. We're going to tighten up. The 360 view here. There we go. Hey, any of you guys who are watching? Really good piece of information. 100,000 dollars of your tourist money has been spent $100,000 of your trip has been spent to promote the death of veterans on the streets. $1,000 of your tourist money has been spent to criminalize mothers and children who have to live in their cars. How money spent money to criminalize those people too? When people go to jail for sleeping in their car, they have a problem in our world. When we have money,
Walking the bike, by the way, folks, if you haven't seen the fuck cops bike, there it is. It's what? Hi. Hi. Beautiful women right there. 
right there. Aren't they amazing? So we're holding the protest in a boycott because this business as a national It's a real problem when you have 180 plus stores around the company, uh, around the country, and as a corporation or a franchise business, whatever your policy is, that it's good for your franchise businesses to support the push of the laws that are bad on that kill people. Bad laws kill people. It's a problem. So, yeah. thanks for having free time, guys. Yeah, we're just volunteer.
throw corner bakery's trash that got left behind. Good job. She's busting it, right? Hundred thousand dollars. It takes to promote a law that causes I'm having 
the beat of a mist. Go ahead, sit it down. It's not going anywhere. We got the beat of a mist there. See? We spilled some food. We've got to clean it up so that we're responsible stewards. Perfect, but we tried. Hey, look, guys, it's Liberty Freak TV.
Are you okay, guys? Hi folks, in Denver we have some really bad laws that promote the rape, murder, killing of our community. Businesses on the 16th Street Mall, support those laws. Please take your money elsewhere. bad laws that are bad for business. They really didn't get much more in, did they? I don't think so. Did everybody say happy birthday to Michael Whitney? Happy birthday, Grandpa! Happy birthday, Bonnie! You're, uh, when, when, when's your birthday again? Wednesday, the 13th. Uh-oh. You know why I say uh-oh? 12, 13. 5, 6, 15. Everybody's saying happy bike birthday, Michael. Yeah, we need to pick that cup up. We need to pick it up. Have you ever, have y'all heard of the urban camping ban? No. It's a law here in the city of Denver that makes it illegal to be homeless. Before it was enacted by these businesses here in our city, women used to actually sleep on the 16th Street Mall in a, in a safe zone over by the Federal Mint. And we're telling you this because all of this that's across the street from you here is a private business incorporating their support of a law that has increased the rape of women in our city by having a concert for it. Yes. 
when you shop at the corner bakery, you're helping to say that you support the group of women in our city. The death of people? Is, they're deafening. They're, they're, they're controlling the audience space. They're, you're, the, the presence of signs and our presence is only in the context of the music. It's only suggesting casual, casual observers and passers by. Depending on that, that we are. Make some new signs. Never mind. Hey, I can't, you know. No, I'm saying I can make some new signs. This is incredibly ineffective. Can't you see that? I have a great time. Well, but wouldn't you rather get the downtown partnership or send its policy? Is that your goal or is it the street? To appeal to an audience, you know, what is the end goal? If the goal is to achieve these goals, then this is not an effective means of doing it. And this, yeah, you know, Janet says, oh, well, they're spending money. Well, they are spending money. They got it to dismiss these laws. <laughs> These laws that promote homelessness as a crime in our city are unconstitutional. When you shop at the corner bakery, you're helping to promote We are helping to promote handicapped and mentally disabled people dying in a faster way. When you support businesses on the 16th Street Mall, you're helping to kill people. It's a bad message. You guys, you guys are co-opting this shit to make it all feel happy. I think back in the Nazis to a large extent. Where's Laura's ride? Laura! I need to go before I go to jail today. What's going on? Hit the British Royal, man. I'm heavy and hot. I'm heavy and hot. I'm ready to blow up on someone, so I'm going. You're leaving? I'm leaving before I get myself in trouble. 
Jesus. Laura, who's taking you where? Folks, it's hot, it's heavy, it's real. The shit that we go through is the truth. We're fighting for a reason, right? It's hard to handle. I'm very impassioned by this. So, the truck is loaded and we're getting the fuck out of here. Thank you for your time. Janet, you get the last word. Peace out, she says.